Thanos had fully unleashed the gauntlet's power, transforming into a giant monster that was definitely not green for trademark reasons. High energy light shot from his eyes, melting everything in its path. Ah, the goddess of light has blessed me. The cleansing light of my eyes will burn all evil from the face of the earth. And even under the earth, you are not safe, you despicable creatures. Thanos' laser eyes carved a hole in the ground that stretched down into the depths of the dungeon. If these lasers were to hit the dungeon heart, it would be the end of the absolute evil. Meanwhile, in the underground, Talia had other things she considered important. Yeah, 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 I know. You're gonna make some hackneyed crack about women and mirrors now, you miserable chauvinist. The fact is, that thing gives me a brain. The laser eyes were leaving a trail of devastation through the dungeon. But in the middle of their path, by pure chance, of course, stood Talia's mirror. What devilry! Talia, you vile thing! You are truly the most evil spawn that ever existed! Just wait until my eyes have recovered! Then my cleansing gaze will burn you to ashes! That Thanos is such a miserable jerk. He doesn't even notice when he puts himself out of action. Ugh, I mean, that was my ingenious plan all along, of course. Unfortunately, my mirror also broke in the process. Where am I going to get a new one now? Talia and the Absolute Evil had nothing to counter Thanos' gigantic laser eyes at the moment. Both agreed that a strategic withdrawal from these lands was the wisest choice for the time being. So, well, if that's what the narrator says, then that's probably what happened, right? But fine, for now it probably really makes sense to get the hell out of Dodge. Forward, creatures, line up in rows of two. Hold the creature next to you by the hand and then run away in panic! While Talia gazed sadly at the remains of the mirror, the Council of Little Snots suddenly spoke up out of nowhere. It just so happened that they had just bought a huge stock of leftover mirrors, but since they all wore robes where you could barely make out their faces, they didn't have any use for them. However, the Council of Little Snots was planning a huge feast called Thanks Gobbler. In exchange for some of those delicious birds, the Council was more than willing to provide one of its mirrors. Just send us the mirror anyway. Oh, but fine. Forward, move it! Feed the gobblers, raise them, give them food spiked with hormones and medicine. <laughs> Wait, why am I even laughing? Ah, my eyes! I hate this. All I want is to be able to see again and burn my cursed foster daughter. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> my eyes are getting used to this darkness. I can sense the enemy in my surroundings. I'm going to... Out! Oh, I stopped my foot, damn it! clouded. Lasers shot out of his eyes and burned their way through the dungeon.
Natalia and the Absolute Evil had finally reached the evacuation point for their tactical retreat. Phew, that was really something. We urgently need a way to stop Thanos again. I still have that sharp pointed spear just pining for Thanos's head. To be able to stop Thanos again, it would probably be necessary to reassemble the Gauntlet of Finitude. However, the stones that filled the gauntlet were scattered in all directions. It would take some time to round them all up. Of course. Nothing in this stupid dungeon series is ever easy. Any sensible person would think to themselves, Boom! Let's just beat the crap out of him and that's it. But no! I have to go through the countryside and collect some stupid stones. Oh. Okay, fine. Let's get this over with so I can get back to the point where I put Thanos' head on a spear. Talia and the Gasping Evil had narrowly escaped Thanos, but it was only a matter of time before the latter would track them down. It was therefore imperative that they reassemble the Gauntlet of Finitude in order to be able to face Thanos. By a stroke of luck, three of the stones appeared to be nearby. Three stones, because all good things come in threes. <laughs> How subtle. But fine with me. Then we'll have this chapter behind us in no time. Shouldn't be a problem. But fate sometimes plays its little games, so it was not surprising that another party was also looking for the stones. Oi! Get a move on, lads! Get the drill ready! We need to find those stones before the Dark Elf Wench shows up. Oh, her again? I thought we took care of her about ten levels ago. But hey, kicking some of those damn dwarves in the butt every now and then is refreshing too. It was doubtful how successful the dwarves' digging would be, but there was no question that the drill would cause havoc in the dungeon. It would very likely wake up unwelcome critters sleeping in the underground. But the walkthrough studying evil's real target were the three stones of finitude. These had to be captured before the dwarves managed to do so. Okay, all right, I can work that all in. And by that, I mean I'll put the little snots and the creatures to work. Get a move on, you lazy bums! A construction crew set out to rebuild the destroyed hero buildings. are dying off pretty quickly. Oi! Leave off with the daft quips. Once I get my hands on you, you won't be so cheeky no more. For sure, because I'm gonna ring your scrawny. Pictures fell from the walls as the underground began to shake. The finitude drill was back on the job. The geographically savvy evil had procured the necessary tools. The little snots joyfully set about mining the greystone they had found. Payday! 
creatures are collecting their pay. Eutania had discovered a dwarven stronghold. If this were to be destroyed, it would greatly weaken the heroes in the area. In addition, the stone was also very close by. Oh, cheers to ye for finding me my favorite pub. But now, he can just run off and die. That'll be best for all concerned. Oh, to hell with that. Go on, creatures, trash the pub, water their beer, and pull their beards out by the roots. <laughs> Manivores have appeared in your dungeon. The glamorous evil had discovered a third stone of finitude. Oi! Wouldn't it be? Ah, I finally found all of the dragon but I mean, hawk oh, oh, hogwash. Stones of finitude! So now, I've got it! With all this searching, you kind of lose track of the big picture. They're my stones, lass! I need them to support Thanos! Give them to me! Like how? They're all mine. Now, I'm going to get the others too, and you're going to look stupid as hell. Meanwhile, you just keep playing with your stupid nose paper or whatever that thing was supposed to be. With these uplifting words, Talia made a hasty exit in search of the next stone of finitude. Nice volcano, great view. Makes you feel right at home. What's this thing called again? Doom Hill? Hmm. Kind of disappointing. Not enough for a mountain. Hmm? While Tanya was admiring the surroundings, the fourth stone of finitude was nearby, in the middle of an enchanting clearing. Wow, that's just too easy. Oh, crap. You can't say something like that. Indeed, out of nowhere, mysterious beings appeared and broke the stone into three fragments, which they then carried away just to make things interesting. Great. I just had to say it. Okay, 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 it's my fault. Hopefully, we can put that thing back together. I'm sure I still have a tube of all-purpose glue lying around here somewhere. The fire of Doom Hill's volcano could be used to fuse the stone fragments back into one. But in order to do so, the strange stone robbers would have to be defeated. All right, we know a thing or two about busting things up. Onward, creatures! Smash those crystal beasts! Collect the fragments and paint moustaches on their faces! Uh, wait. I mean, take them to the volcano! Lava lumps rose to protect their stone fragment. Chana had captured the last stone fragment. All that remained was for it to be taken to Doom Hill.
few lava lumps set out to recapture the stone fragment. The Green Hill volcano erupted yet again. Incandescent lava rained from the sky. rose to recapture the stone fragment. A third stone fragment had reached Doom Hill. Tanya and the collectible crazed evil had done it. All the stone fragments were now in their possession. Great! Now let's melt this mother down and make ourselves a fancy stone. My precious. Or better said, my stone. Those were my first words after the doctor took out my ghoul stones. But we digress. Tanya and the rock-collecting evil had captured the false stone of finitude. Now they only had to find one more stone before they could reassemble the gauntlet of finitude.